CrossFits. Congratulations to the Flu Club on their trip to Washington, D.C., and to Club President Nora Jane on arranging the music from Beauty and the Beast. The Ira Glass Fan Club that usually meets in Mr. Bishop's room will meet in the cafeteria today. Good luck, everyone. Finally, Mrs. Palladino is absent, so Miss Lyons will be substitute teaching her math classes. Please be respectful. I'm Miss Lyons. That's Lyons with the Y for yeah, math. <laughs> I guess I should tell you guys a little bit about uh, Mrs. Palladino told me she usually tries to introduce concepts with a story to help everyone really get a feel for math. So I thought maybe I'd introduce my math stuff with part of a story. I, um, I'm substitute teaching today, the same reason most of us do anything, which is that we stop doing everything else, you know, just kind of let stuff, I guess, slip through our fingers, you know? <laughs> to make that make a little more sense, I guess we should all kind of think about the, the single greatest icon of a moment of failure in American literature, the, the most crystal clear example of someone really giving up on their dream. Um, that's obviously at the end of A League of Their Own, when you know, Gina Davis as Dottie, his, she's playing catcher, and then her piece of shit sister knocks her over. And it's horrible. It's, a har it's horrible. But some people think that that's a scene about someone letting their little sister have the spotlight for a moment, and those people are wrong. And some people think that it's about um, that kid earned that run fair and square, and those people are obviously wrong because the whole movie is about how Gina Davis is better than Laurie Petty at playing baseball. <laughs> What's actually happening in that moment is that Dottie realizes, oh, this is it for me. I am now maxed out of my interest in baseball. I was already wavering. I already tried to quit once, and I came back because I still had a little something left. But this is it. I, this is my peak. From here on out, it would be hard, and it would be awful, and it would be not fun. This thing that gave me a lot of joy just, uh, I think I'm done. Like, I think I'm, I'm done. And so she just lets go of the ball, because she, she's out. Um, not like in the baseball way, in the emotional way. Um, <laughs> because kid is safe. That's how she wins the game. Um, so, I think we all have like our Gina Davis baseballs. Right? We all have that thing we sort of just let go when we realize we were maxed out. And math is my Gina Davis baseball. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty good at math. Um, I'm actually really good at math. It was my favorite class my entire life. It was my favorite subject for as long as I can remember. Um, when I was growing up, I would do my math homework first, like it was a treat. <laughs> and I just, uh, it was always easy. It came really naturally to me. Even the things that were challenging or confusing or weird, I, it just it was never that hard. I always knew that it was right there. I could just tap into it and it would be no problem. And I stuck with it. I mean, really stuck with it, which is how I found myself sitting in the classroom nine years ago at the end of my junior year of college in a multivariable analysis class. And up until then, I was a math major. I was a double major with math and religion, so I do this now. And <laughs> there comes a point in math where everything's in symbols and it's very touchy-feely and, and theoretical and fascinating and great. And I'm sitting there in class and I was getting an A in that class. I loved this class. I loved this professor. I really, really knew my shit. I was, you know, going to problem session and studying and all this stuff. And, uh, and I'm sitting there in class and I'm not even spaced out. I, I was like locked in and the teacher's talking and I was like, I have no idea what's happening. I have no idea what is happening right now. Oh, I just peaked. This is it. I have reached the top of my math mountain. I can't climb any higher. It's like being at the North Pole and someone telling you to go north. You're like, it doesn't happen. I'm as far north as it goes. This is as much math as I'll ever be able to do. And like, you know, I, I locked back in and figured out what was going on. But I knew at that moment, because I was trying to decide, like, am I supposed to go to law school after college or graduate school or should I get a PhD in math and, like, be a mathematician or something? And 
at that moment, it was so clear to me that all of the fun part of math, all of like the joy it had given me, and like the, I can't believe I'm saying this, the excitement, <laughs> because it is good, okay? Um, but all of that was going to be sour from then on. And if I stuck with it, and if I tried to stick with that major through senior year, and if I had gone to math graduate school or something, it would always be a struggle. It wouldn't feel good anymore. It would, it, it would be uh, not as fun. And, you know, I guess that sounds a little bit like a sad story, but it's not. I feel really lucky that I got to max out, because otherwise you'd always wonder if. You know, so like at the very end of a league of their own, when everyone's old, like Dottie, even though her husband died two Christmases ago, Dottie knows that she made the right decision, right? Dottie and I both know what it's like not to wonder if. I know that math was, that that was it for me, that, um, that multivariable analysis was going to just be about as far as this math train went. And so I'd like to believe that someday, like Dottie, I'll age gracefully and wear like tasteful sweatshirts a lot, and that someday a really ancient Rosie O'Donnell and Madonna will show up and just throw a baseball right at me, and I'll catch it, because I still got it. <laughs> so speaking of... Uh, Still got in it. Um, I guess that sort of took up most of the period, and we should probably just like watch a math movie, right? I... So we'll just, well, I'll just sing everyone's favorite math song. Um, everyone knows it. I promise you know it. It's uh, really easy. So just join in when you when you're ready. Everyone's mathiness today. I'm also excited to bring up our next performance.